笑う Let's go. You ready, mate? I think I'm gonna get wet. So I'm Jonathan Bleakley, and I basically started fishing like every other kid does with their with their dad and their grandfather down at the beach and on the rock wall. And then that slowly turned into throwing lures in estuaries and river systems up on the mid-north coast of New South Wales and in Lake Macquarie here. Let's do it. Oh, what a morning. I love overcast conditions. I love it, love it, love it. First cast. I can remember when I caught my first flathead off the bank, it was on a, a pink little three inch soft plastic. And then from there, it kind of just grew and grew. And, and um, yeah, I found out that you can fish these bait schools with soft plastics and soft vibes. And you can catch anything from mulloway, flathead, salmon, kingfish, tailor. And I just got addicted so quickly. First fish of the morning. Fish, man. You beat me to it. But yeah, you dropped one early. That's good, good stuff. Yeah, right off that bait. Right on that bait there. Yeah. So my name's Jack Nolan. I'm from Milestone, New South Wales. I'm 22 and I've been fishing for as long as I can remember. This is where I caught my first ever Jurier. Yeah? Like, on a vibe in the lake. Actually, it was up in there. It was by myself. Oh, man. I tried to net it three times and missed it. <laughs> that does not surprise me, eh? <laughs> I get the net too early too sometimes, eh? Yeah, you gotta get the fish off the bottom before you get, before net. You get the net. Otherwise, you'll lose it. What if you get it too late and the fish is at the boat side? Nah. Oh, there he is. Got it? <laughs> net? <laughs> oh, he's, oh, what's going on there? Did you smash that, eh? Yeah. I like it when they hit it aggressively. Oh, he's a nice fish. Yeah. Yep. Now oh, 100%. Now you get the net. Is, is now the time to get the Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm coming your side. All right. Yeah, he's good. I reckon he's an upgrade, isn't he? Oh, yeah. 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 Sweet. Good stuff. He's yours. <laughs> oh, they hang around these bait schools. I mean, we didn't mark too, many, too much bait when I caught him, but they just sit on the bottom, scavengers clean up what the tailor and the salmon and the kingfish make a mess of, basically. Jack, too much chafe to risk it? Yeah, I'd change that, for sure. <laughs> Definitely. But if I don't change it, I'll get a fish. I met Jack about 10 years ago, on um, up in Milestone, actually, and I remember he was down the road from me. I knew he was a really, really good fisherman. And um, I said to Dad, geez, I'd love to go fishing with him one day, Dad. And he goes, well, just go ask him. And I walked down and said g'day and I said, oh, do you reckon I can come fishing with you? And he goes, yeah, well, let's go. And we went and spun flathead on soft plastics and I hadn't done a lot of it at the time. We caught a few too and kind of just went from there and then, yeah, we've been fishing ever since, really. Second one for the morning for me. gunno has got one. <laughs> Two one, I think that is. Basically what we're doing here this morning is just fishing bait schools. As the winter months roll in and the water temperature cools down, you'll have Bait schools congregating about eight to nine metres. And uh, along with that go the flathead, the mulloway, the salmon, the tailor. They seem to just follow them. So we're just using our vibes. I'm using a soft plastic. We're just working the bait schools, probably the outer circles of it. And then, uh, yeah, working our lures through it. And we're a chance of a flathead. We've got a few this morning, but you know, I must admit we're chasing that mulloway. And uh, yeah, so far so good, but hopefully going for an upgrade. So basically what we're doing when we're fishing bait schools, we're trying to locate where it be mullet, herring, tailor or white bait, pilchards at times, and locate them on the sander and then fish the circumference with soft vibe, soft plastics, top water lures too, if they're pushed right up in the water column. And then I just felt a big whack and the rod loaded up straight away. Oh, nervous times, I want 10 pound. Tell me when you want the net and I'll get it. Oh, I've gone really light here. Oh, look at the fish on the sander. I've gone yeah. really light. We're just having a bit of trouble hooking these fish, so we thought I'll go right down to 10 pound leader and eight pound braid and fish in a plastic. And just, I literally just, oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, what, nervous. What do you call I, them, oh, I don't know. I'll tell you what. It's been a beautiful morning. I've been saying to Jack all morning, we need to try upgrade. And there's big head shakes there. I'm, I'm actually thinking right. this is quite a good fish. So yeah, I'll play this man. really, really slow. Oh. Yes or no? Only on 10 pound, man. I know. Well, why'd you get the net, man? No, because you got it off the bottom. Got it's it. a cracker. Oh, he's not ready. Oh, he's got a big head shake there. Right, oh, brother. Yes, man. Good stuff. Oh, what a flathead. What a flathead. So that has been sitting under these bait schools all morning and he would just be chopping up everything from Taylor. Jack caught a little whiting there before. He'd be sitting under there just going smash, smash, smash. And I put that little five inch, I think, is that a five inch Jack? Yeah, yeah that's a five inch plastic just over his head and it was a real subtle movement. And uh, he's just climbed all over that. Oh, there you go, mate. You're a pretty looking fish, that's for sure. Oh, that. There he goes. Doesn't get much better than that, man. Sweet. Are we getting a coffee or what? Yeah, I reckon. I reckon it's about time. What about a meat pie? We're fished hard enough. We're fished hard and we'll get a meat pie, I reckon. Sweet as, let's do it. Started raining a bit. Man. What do you reckon? Check the radar. Mmm. Oh, we're right on the edge. We're right on the edge. Right. I reckon if we had probably 10 minutes south, we'll be able to get out of it and we can fish down there around the bait school. Yeah. I, I don't want a bit of a sprinkle, but <laughs> yeah, I reckon we do that. We'll finish these, finish the coffees, and then head down south and do an Arvo session, maybe find a tailor or something. me and Jack have just decided we're gonna go for a move there's a lot of bait here and you can see it flickering there but it's actually feeding on the surface it's not um there's nothing under it pushing up to the top so if they're spawning or feeding like that I never usually like it because it's not what I call an active bait school so we've decided there's bait here but we're gonna leave it and hopefully Taylor find it a bit later so we're gonna go and fish a little bit of a reef with some plastics Jack's just tying one on now so just because you find bait, it doesn't mean there's fish under it. Um, I thought there would have been, but it looks like this is just feeding. So made the decision. We'll come back here in a few hours and see if see if the bait's been hunted down by something. Ooh, and there's my lure. Blue spots are unreal on these fish. Oh, I dropped mine. <laughs> oh, I dropped, dropped mine. <laughs> There's a bunch of flathead sitting right there. I reckon. That was a better one too. Yep, yep. There's some weight there, Jackie boy. Head shakes and weight. It's doing all the good things. Jeez, they go hard for a small fish. They My do. Goodness. Right? Yeah. The blue just along here is amazing. Beautiful looking squire. He's got a lot of growing to do yet, so I'm going to put him back. See you, mate. <laughs> awesome. Another one, Jono. What is that? That's a bit of a weird one. What have you I think I might have caught these on a bait you get to see. I can't even you. ID that as a fit. I've never seen one caught in here before, eh? Hey? No, I reckon I've caught them off coughs. Um, on a bait jig, just yeah, once. right. Look at the eye. Yeah, yeah. What I do you reckon? reckon? I think. What do you? I don't know. I I'm don't pretty know. sure they're called a glass eye. A glass eye. But um, I'm not 100 percent sure on that. Man, but it's amazing what hangs around these bait schools. That's it. That eye, oh, man. It. I can't get over that. 
He's pretty cool. That's cool. I'll That's tell you awesome. what, I don't know what it is and I'm not taking it home, so. Nah, we're gonna let this fella go, eh? A lot of people say, like, how do you spend 12 hours on the water and enjoy it? And Pretty much that, that, that's what most of my fishing sessions are. Put in at six o'clock and pull the boat out at six o'clock at night. And it can provide for some, yeah, not boring times, but you know, you, you have to make a bit of fun where you can. Oh my goodness. It's always good catching up and having a fish with Jono, but um, yeah, he's, he's a bit messy in my boat, which I don't really like, and he's always throwing shit around the boat. Um, yesterday, he threw an umbrella straight over the side, which is a typical Jono thing to do. Basically, what I'm doing, you know, when I'm out in the water is chasing a mulloway. I love my flathead, I love my snapper, I love Taylor, but the goal of the estuary, the ghost of the estuary is the mighty mulloway. And I can remember when I caught my first one, I was throwing vibes in about year nine or 10. I was by myself, it was late afternoon. It was, it was perfect conditions. And this, this lure was sinking down. I got a big whack and you know, within a couple seconds I knew this was it. I was by myself, I didn't have a net. And I had to basically fight this fish, never caught a dewfish before. And I remember when I landed that fish, I went, right, this is me for the next 10 years. I'm just gonna target these fish religiously. And uh, basically that was the goal for today. Oh, oh, yep. Jackie boy. Get out of your way, mate. Get out of your way. It's all up, then it's all up. Oh, no. He's dropped him. Man. Dropped him. That was a good fish. Probably a score from there. So we'll keep, keep pestering that area. He's right on top of that mark, too. Yeah, that was a beauty. That was what we're after. That's pretty heartbreaking, I must admit. We're throwing those all day for a, for a mull away. That's pretty much the goal when you when you're vibing bait schools and estuaries, everyone, you can target flathead all you want and they're really good fun, but at the end of the day, you're kidding yourself if you're not targeting a mull away with your own bigger lures. Late afternoon, Jack hooked it and... Uh, wasn't to be. Wasn't to be. He hooked it, set the hooks and had a, had a first run there and then, I don't know, can't explain those things sometimes, so that's, I don't know, it's disappointing. We've got about an hour and a half of light left, so... We're pretty much just going to pepper this area for about an hour and a half and I don't know, we might get his mate, they, they traditionally you know, run around in schools but who knows, it's hard to tell. Pretty disappointed, a bit flat right now, I'm like, <laughs> but I we'll guess keep, that's fishing and we'll keep casting, eh? Yeah, what do you do? You can chase a mull away all day and cast for eight hours and you finally hook that fish and you think you have it beat and something goes wrong and you lose it, where it's a not failure the fish spat the hooks or the hooks just pulled out in this case the low is so low and it's it's a feeling that most fishermen probably would have felt but the day you do land that fish whether it's your first mull away or your 20th the high is unreal and it's the reason why i go fishing all right man let's go call it a day call it a day that was all right it's a good session there's nothing wrong with that no not at all yeah, losing those fish was definitely devastating, but um, it doesn't matter if it's a, you know, a pot at Copeton Dam or a big barrier up north or a dew in Lake Macquarie. It, um, it's, you know, the reason why I'll drag myself out of bed at five o'clock tomorrow to do it all again. So close. That was a good day. That was a good day fishing. Any day you can put the boat on your local waterway, go fish with a mate for a few hours, get a pie and a coffee, throw a few lures around. If you catch a few fish, that's great, but it doesn't get too much better for me.